Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mandal. Today's experiment is families of elements. We'll go ahead and get started with the flame test. We need a test tube rack with some clean test tube and we are going to use six different metal ion solution. We are going to add 10 drops of each metal ion solution to each of these test tube. So for flame test, I have got six test tube for the different metal ion solution. I'm going to quickly go ahead and label them. The seventh test tube is going to be hydrochloric acid. This is for cleaning our flame test loop. I'm going to add 10 drops of each metal ion solution. So that's our flame test loop. I'm going to dip it in the hydrochloric acid and burn it in the flame to clean it. persistent yellow flame says it's clean, we can go ahead and get started with our first metal ion solution which is barium solution. So I'm going to dip it in my barium solution and hold it on the flame from the side and make sure the loop it has an angle because the drop of liquid you want it to be at the tip. If you hold it this way it will roll down. Dip the flame test loop in the solution, hold it on the flame from the side. Let's take a closer look. So it's a very transient flame. It goes away immediately, but you have to look for an apple green color flame. So that was barium. So now I'm going to burn it off for a few seconds, and then this will be ready for our next solution. So now I'm going to use our calcium solution. If you're looking for a red flame before the orange flame shows up. Next is lithium solution. Next is potassium solution. It's a very light pink or purple colored flame. Next is Na plus sodium solution. Next is strontium. Tubes, I'm going to add 10 drops of each metal ion solution. The first one is barium chloride. is calcium chloride the third one is lithium chloride the fourth one is potassium chloride the fifth one is sodium chloride and the sixth one is strontium chloride. To each of these test tubes, I'm going to add a few drops of ammonium carbonate and look for our observation of precipitate or no reaction. I'll give it a mix. Record your observation as precipitate or no reaction. 
So now I'm going to transfer all my reaction solution into a beaker and then I'm going to dispose solution in a labeled waste bottle. So now I'm going to rinse these test tube out and have them ready for the next part. So we start with six clean test tube and then add 10 drops of each metal ion solution. To all of these test tube, I'm going to add a few drops of ammonium phosphate. your observation as precipitate or no reaction. We start with six clean test tube and then add 10 drops of each metal ion solution. To each of these test tube I'm going to add a few drops of ammonium sulfate. I'll give it a mix. Audio observation. I'll dispose all the solution in a beaker and then all the contents of the beaker goes to a labeled waste bottle. For the halide test, I have three clean test tubes. The first solution is bromide salt. I'll add 10 drops. The second one is chloride salt and the third one is iodide salt. Now I'm going to add 10 drops of hexane to each of these test tubes. Add one drop of nitric acid to each of the test tube and I'm going to add five drops of chlorine water to each of these test tubes. I'll give this solution a mix. So you can clearly see the bromide solution has a yellow top layer, the chloride solution has a clear top layer, and the iodide solution has a purple top layer. I'm going to take 10 drops of metal ion solution for flame test. Now we're going to do the flame test for our unknown solution. So for unknown, I'm using unknown B. I'm going to add 10 drops of unknown into each test tube. For the first precipitation test, I'm using ammonium carbonate. Second, ammonium phosphate. And third, ammonium sulfate. So the unknown forms precipitate with all three solutions. Record your observation. We are going to do the halide test for unknown. I'll add 10 drops of my unknown B. 10 drops of hexane one drop of nitric acid and five drops of chlorine water. I'll give it a mix and let it stand. If we place it against a white background, we see the top layer is clear. So that's our unknown. In comparison to the known solution, you can come to a conclusion what would be a halide ion. We'll clean the test tubes and put the metal solution in a label waste bottle. I'm going to dispose all my metal solution that I collected in a waste bottle which is which should be labeled. Now you can rinse your beaker in the sink and put it back in your cabinet.